we have variables where the value containing the variable can change, what we call a variable. We also have constants, and constants are just as the word suggests, the values never change, they are constant. We declare a constant just like we do a variable, except rather than using the dim keyword, we use the const keyword. So we're still getting a name and still selecting a data type and assigning a value. The naming conventions are the same for constants as they are for variables, but it is standard to use a name that's in all uppercase. And because of that, we don't necessarily use camel casing here, we can use what we call Pascal casing with an underscore between words if you like. It could just be tax rate as all one word. The other difference with a constant versus a variable is we must assign the value when we declare the constant. I cannot say const tax rate as double on one line and the next line say tax rate equals 0.075. I have to do that all together. And usually we declare our constants at the top of our code in what we call global or class level variables. We'll talk more about that in a future lesson. Well, why use a constant? Well, one is it enhances the readability of code. We can look at the constant because all uppercase we know right away it's a constant value. But also declare at the top of the code. So if the tax rate should change, it's easy to find where that is and to change that value in our code. And it may provide a very slight performance gain in some situations. It really has more to do with the readability. Let's take a look at an example. I have a text box here named TXT Purchase. The user enters a value of something they're purchasing. And then they click the Calculate Sale button. And what this button does, it takes the value of TXT Purchase text property, saves that as a double value, and then multiplies it by the tax rate, which is a constant. So we're going to take the purchase price, in this case $120.92, times 0.075, or 7 percent calculate the tax, and then the total is going to be the tax and the purchase price together. Let's watch this run. And again, we're using two string here to convert back to a string value to put it into the text properties. If you just jumped into this video, you can see all the videos from the Programming Practicum playlist by clicking on the image in the lower right. And if you'd like to be alerted to future videos I create, you can click my picture in the top right to subscribe to the channel.